Bernie. We got the right one on. Second round of the Hammer Series. Hammer Lindbergh underway with the Hammer Climb. 11 tough laps of a seven kilometer circuit and right from the get go, riders disappearing out the back. Less than clement conditions for the riders, but Tim Wellens et al putting that behind him. Caleb Ewan taking the points at the first time of asking on the climb, but Caleb Ewan would suffer throughout the afternoon. Oh, and Duel scoring well in the early stages for Team Sky. As lot of Sudal packed well towards the front and took the uh, early lead. But uh, Mark Padoon showing the form that would draw him clear of the field uh, as the day progressed. Racing clear in the early stages. And nothing going to stop Sonny Cambrelli. Certainly not Conchi off track. As the Bahrain Merida squad began their assault on the hammer climb. Henrik Maas uh, well to the fore. So too Kasper Askren. Denying Gerens, but from hero to zero, Askren takes a dive unscheduled onto the tarmac. He would jump back up, but uh, he wasn't the only one to hit the deck through the afternoon. Mulberger clear for uh, Bora Hanskro in the early stages. Sam Oman, fresh from the Giro d'Italia, also involved. And Colbrelli scoring again, denying Lambrecht of Lotto Sudal, taking top points and hoovering up the points wherever they were on offer. Olympic champion Greg Van Avermaet among the riders trying to stretch clear of a dwindling lead group up front, but it was Cobrelli once more behind the lead duo of Sivakov of Team Sky and Mark Padoon of Team Bahrain Merida. Sam Oman just uh, sliding out, albeit briefly. He jumped back up and got back up into the lead group. Meanwhile, out front, Mark Padoon in the red of Team Bahrain Merida, clear of Pavel Sivakov of Team Sky. And they would stretch out an impressive advantage of more than half a minute before Enric Mas decided he was going to try and do something about it. Scoring for fun at this point, while Padoon looking behind, seeing no challenge from Sivakov. And Enric Mas not able to get on terms behind. They scrap for the minor points. Conchi managed to keep it upright, a victory of sorts for the Trek Segafredo man. As Mas dispensed with Sivakov up front, though. Mark Padoon continuing to charge on to glory, opening up an advantage of approaching a minute over the group scrapping for the minor positions behind. It was a day where he would score on seven of the 11 laps and take the full 200 on two uh, occasions. Martin Vinens resisted a counter-attack from Team Lotto and El Yumbo. Could do nothing about this man. Mark Padoon taking the two at the conclusion of the event, and Team Bahrain Merida's dominance was confirmed and rubber stamped at the death. Team Lotto in El Yumbo and uh, Sunweb, Lotto Sudal, and the rest scoring the minor points at the back end. All about Bahrain Merida. A big pleasure to, to be in this race, and uh, when, I, when I was in, in, the, in the start of the race, uh, I was impressive. Uh, was this quality of the riders that was presented here, but uh, yeah, this uh, was something amazing, and uh, Chirkut would like it me. And from the start, I don't feel yeah, I had uh, good legs, but uh, for the moment, I'm uh, around 40, 40 days from my last race, so I don't was able to go from the start with the guys who go very, very fast. So it's Bahrain Merida that dominate the hammer climb. They have the advantage going into day two. Lotto Sudal, Quick Step Floors, Sky, Lotto and El Yumbo, BMC Racing Team. Uh, Sunweb and Carral are handily placed, but with work to do in the hammer sprint to come on day two. 16 teams in total. Bora Hanskru stepping into the fray, but they've got to step up from ninth. Mitchell and Scott, the victors last week, and now also runs in tenth. Trek Segafredo, Israel cycling.